Hello all of you wise guys and wise girls out there. How you doing bros? My name is Cartoon Common Channel Junior, but I might change it. <laughs> well, welcome to this continuity on this fine and lovely day. Today we're having a look at a continuity from April 18th. 2018 part 2 yes you heard me right part 2 and this part 2 will be a long continuity and it will be the last continuity of April 18th I guess and then we're gonna move on to other continuities for example Nick Jr. English Polish continuity or something like that I don't know so what do we have here what does this continuity look like what does it represent to us how does it feel like and how shall we eat it we do not eat continuities we watch them silly okay the same thing as always pinky air balloons and Next bumpers. Next bumpers for Doc McStuffins. Doc McStuffins has a lot of cartoons, cartoon characters like the snowman, the referee, the car, the Dalmatian dog, the African friend with the African t traditional hair, uh, rag doll, hedgehog. And uh, it all culminates in the assembling of all of the letter looking character versions of this Disney Junior logo so many Disney Junior logos <clears throat> just you know coming at you and we see shorts we see Doc McStuffins shorts who's the one with the glasses I don't know Bingo and Rolly Rob Bum 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 Dun 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 Round Dun 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 Dun. These dogs are so full of energy that it's unbelievable. I do not, I do not believe in the existence of such dogs. They are happy all the time, and it kind of kind of upsets me. I'm upset that they're happy all the time. I'm upset because I don't believe that can be ever true. For dogs have sad moments too, you know. But anyway, come on, look at how many things they're doing. Look, they just... A normal dog would have died from a jump that high. You know that, right? This cartoon is utterly unrealistic. PG masks okay why okay I have this problem with modern cartoons they look so realistic right they look so realistic in 3d they remind us of real-life human beings then why are their heads so huge why are their eyes so huge why is their body so thin and tiny how can their body even support the head? All questions we we want to know the answers to. Elena of Avalor, uh, Avalor, we saw a bumper or a next bumper or whatever it's called for Elena of Avalor. Avalor. She has a slightly smaller ha uh, head, but it's still out of proportion. Everything's out of proportion. It's like realistic and unrealistic at the same time. And I don't like it. I would I, I think I'm I'm shouting too loud in the microphone. I think I need to hold the microphone farther away from me. Okay. Okay, I'm back from checking the situation over here. Everything seems to be fine. Don't worry about it. And eh, forget about it. You know, that's how some people talk, apparently. So yeah, Lion Guard. 
Well, we pretty much see the same bumpers repeating over and over again. I guess that's also a good thing, but I would like to see something new for a change. I mean, I've seen this bingo and rolly bumper a thousand times. And, and PJ Masks, yeah, we get it. They all live in the same city, and, and we're looking at a map for this city, right? Some parts of the city are dedicated to racing with VLC player icons, if you know what I mean, <laughs> lol. And uh, yeah, it all ends with the Disney Junior logo, as always. And then a short Junior Disney Junior logo appears. Like it's so fast that I can't even comment on it. And then afterwards, another one appears. And then the, it's it's a yellow one or an orange one. And it's they zoom into the in, into the O. And then from the O, there's like a white flash. And then uh, some. Some kind of promotional material no not uh, like a short like a short fragment of a cartoon appears and we see a short demonstration of the cartoon but we don't really see it because i had to cut it out because i can't really use actual cartoon footage footage i can use like sh extremely short clips which these continuities kind of are right promotional material uses, uses only very short clips from various cartoon episodes so yeah it's not like one big cartoon that's not what I'm showing you but this is enough to get an idea of how the channel looked like so that's also uh, the probably the main goal of this well fireworks seems to be a major thing for Disney and like every way like you see the uh, well it's all interconnected this disney Ju disney universe is all interconnected for example you have the disneyland theme park whatever it's called disneyland resort paris you have a couple of disneylands all over the world kind of so they have Disneyland and then they reflect this because this Disneyland has some kind of castle in it in it so they they show this castle at the end of like cartoons they, they broadcast and I think it used to say Buena Vista or something I don't know there was a castle with like a rainbow or something in the middle of the night or it was fairy dust or fireworks I'm not sure but one thing I remember is fireworks they used fireworks a lot and it's like even though this channel is called Disney Junior it's supposed to be like a completely different cartoon but they still uh, hold on to the values of the Disney universe so we see elements of the theme park of the Disneyland uh, amusement park uh, leak through into this universe in for in the form of Disney Junior bumpers where you have fireworks in the background yes if you pay attention you can often see fireworks being shown in some of these Disney Junior logo bumpers station identification bumpers I don't know how to call them okay uh, usually it's not when it's not when uh, these are custom bumpers it's usually when there's a vanilla vanilla logo and there's some fireworks in the background they don't usually use fireworks when they have some kind of uh, thematic specially themed Disney Junior logo where all the letters are representing the cartoon characters of a specific show so yeah, uh, Doc McStuffins. Yeah, I, I don't. I have no beef with the animals, the toy, the toy animals, but the the main protagonist, the main hero, the, the Doc McStuffins girl, whatever her name is, whatever her real name is. If you look at her, her head looks huge, like way too big for her body. A norm, a normal human being would be considered sick if, if, uh, you know. It looked like that so when I look at this it kind of like makes me feel like it's a real human being because of the 3d computer-generated 3d stuff 
Because, I mean, it's movements replicate real-life movements, right? It's a 3D thing. It's not 2D hand-drawn. It's not really fantasy, right? When you create a 3D object in a computer, you don't, you don't create a new object for every frame. You have one object, and you move it around. You tell it to, like, bend and stuff, and that's what it does. So it's a lot different from traditional animation, where you have to draw the the pictures for every frame and there's like 25 frames per second so you have to draw 25 pictures to get a second of a cartoon but with computer generated stuff like you spend a lot of time making the, the object look good the 3d model look good it's also called an asset so you spend a lot of time making it look good and then like you program the movements like in a computer game you pre-program the movements you change the shape for every type of movement and then you can reuse some movements and uh, reuse all of the models so that's very different and so I mean the 2D uses your imagination you know it's not real even though it's like your mind thinks it's such a completely different world that could not possibly be real in this world but it's like a, a part of your imagination so it's okay right they have their own laws and stuff but with 3d objects it's very easy to confuse reality with fantasy like yes you could encounter somebody who moves similarly to these 3d objects that were created on the computer and yes, they may have a freakishly big looking head. And that's a problem, I think. I think they're too lifelike, but also like disfigured. Because they're kind of applying the old 2D cartoon standards to new computer generated cartoon characters. And it's kind of weird. I don't know, like in computer games, I often don't have this problem because the computer. Uh, game models or characters that are supposed to be human rep replicants. There's oh a new bumper. I haven't seen this one yet. Doc McStuffins I letter heals the R letter, and then they jump around to the Disney word, and then they become the Disney Junior logo. Cool. So what was I talking about? Yeah, normal computer game characters who are also in 3D. They resemble human beings and the proportions are right but with cartoons here the proportions are all out of whack their heads are no in no way proportional to their body and that kind of feels weird to me that's also a problem I have with Super Mario when I play Super Mario I get a weird nauseous, na nauseous feeling I feel like uh, you know nauseated I feel nauseated so, yeah, I'm just saying, perhaps I'm one of the very few people who feel like that. Because I didn't grow up with these 3D cartoons. They were introduced when I was in my teenage years. So, mm, there are a lot of children who grew up watching nothing but these 3D cartoons, nothing but these nick jr and disney jr cartoons that there are that they are releasing now on the regular like they are even converting old 2d cartoon characters into 3d characters like mickey mouse was a 2d character and now they made mickey and the roadster racers and uh winnie the pooh was also a, a 2d character and they transformed transformed him in one of the episodes of Doc McStuffins. I saw Winnie the Pooh, and he was a 3D object, of course, right? Because all cartoon characters who appear in Doc McStuffins are 3D cartoon characters. So yeah, that's that. You know what? Some uh, sometimes I like it uh, when, for example, Big Hero Six or something. There was a movie and I th movie and I think all of them were 3D characters but then in the in the cartoon series they kind of made the cartoon series a 2D hand drawn 
card change here so that's cool where well we're nearing the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed it bye bye